So what is the job of a chief security officer and what is really information security management uh, discipline? So at the end of the day, information security management is about mitigating risks. So a chief security officer's job is to protect the company and to make sure that they don't get breached at a very high level. The problem is that a lot of the time people misjudge risks. The things that appear dangerous to you are often not dangerous and conversely the things that feel safe actually often are dangerous. So to give an example, um, I might get nervous if it's a really turbulent flight but it's actually really safe. It's a irrational fear, right? Like, and I know it, I still get nervous, but I overestimate the risk. Conversely, when I used to go to NYU, after college, I would go to this chess shop on McDougal Street by Washington Square Park, and I would play chess after school, and it was a small room, and everybody would sit and smoke cigars in, a, in this tiny room, and there were clouds of smoke. And um, it felt pretty safe to me, but in hindsight, actually, it was not very good for the health, just to be in that room for hours and hours and puffs of smoke. And so the same in cybersecurity, a lot of the time people underestimate what's dangerous and what's not. So the job of a chief security officer is to prioritize and mitigate the risk. And uh, the common mistake that most uh, ch chief security officers uh, make is they make a couple of mistakes. So number one, they're either technical so they focus just on the technology aspect, but they don't spend enough time on the leadership, on the business aspect, leading the board, leading the CEO of a company, leading other executives. Or conversely, some CISOs focus on a business aspect, but they don't go look at the technology enough. And a CISO job is to build a high performance team, but at the same time, you need to wear a business and a technical hat and alternate those hats every single day. You need to be able to zoom in and zoom out, go very deeply technically, but then zoom out and articulate the strategy and the reason and how you're transforming the business to the rest of the executives and the rest of the board. The other mistake that many people make when they uh, do information security management and run security is that they focus on being reactive instead of being proactive. 80% of the budget today in companies goes towards technologies like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and so on. Technologies which are reactive. They wait until the attacker tries to break into your organization, and then alarms sound and you start the investigation and you try to stop the attacker. We need to shift our focus and assume that the attacker is always going to get in and shift our mindset from being reactive to being proactive. You anticipate ahead of time that attacker is gonna break into your system. How do you design it to be as hard to exfiltrate information as possible? How do you start measuring and quantifying risk? What metrics, what ratings, what KPIs are you using to drive your decisions? Those are actually some of the tenets of what you need to be thinking of uh, when you do information security management. At the end, it's about building a high performance team getting the right tools, making sure that all those tools communicate to each other and you turn all this noise into actionable insights. And then thirdly, using clear KPIs, clear scorecards to drive change, to articulate the value of a security program and to go um, be a champion for the security team and a true business partner to other executives and to the board of directors.